Hey YouTube, how's it going? Just wanted to give a quick update on how I'm liking my Fat Bob so far. It's a 2016. This has the high output engine and uh, it's going great. I've got 350 miles or so on it right now. Done some mods, um, all that I'm going to do for this year anyway. First thing I did was bought some, or I, I already had some mini floorboards from my last bike. Put those on for the passenger. I think it flows pretty good. Got some RLNS shift peg and uh, foot pegs. I bought some Harley Davidson heel rests with some uh, Harley Davidson tribal shift pegs for the foot. Bought the uh, Harley Davidson um, mustache crash bar. I got matching Harley or matching Arlen Ness uh, grips. This already had a, uh, a the air filter for a stage one, so I didn't need to replace that. But I did buy the Freedom Performance Turnouts. These are the Declaration Turnouts, is what they're called. Um, I talked about in one of my last videos that I took out the baffle and bought DK Custom Inserts. Um, it's it's great. I have the torque back from my two into one into two exhaust from the factory, but I have that sound of a full pipe. So that's that's great. Um, I put in my or hooked up my water bottle holder from my last bike. Also my ram mount from my last bike. Uh, of course, I got my uh, Guardian Bells. Got one down there too that my friends had gotten me. And then I, uh, the last thing I did was change the Speedo. Um, this is the Harley uh, digital digital speedometer with the analog uh, tack. Um, talk about that here in a second. So I guess first thing, let's start it up. It's uh, pretty warmed up now, so shouldn't be too bad. So. The camera probably doesn't do it justice, but it's loud. It sounds good. Awesome. We'll go for a ride here in a minute. Oh, I also bought a Kiriakin uh, brake pedal. Uh, it brings it out a little more. It's a little more thick than I thought it would be, but it, it works okay. So for the digital tack, this is pretty cool. Uh, obviously I've got my, my RPM counter there. This is a speed, uh, speedometer portion. I have a, a fuel gauge, so I don't have to rely on looking at this one. Um, I have 345 miles on this bike cart right now. I got trip meter for this ride is 10 miles. Trip B. I have a range counter, so I have 83 miles left in my gas tank. My time, which I've not set yet, and then back to the trip counter. So, uh, so yeah, um, this is, is really nice. I love it. It was easy to hook up. It took like 10 minutes, and all these gauges change colors at nighttime. I have my um, the background red. I have my needles green, and this is like a turquoise bluish color. When, when I get back, I'll put it in the garage and kick it on and show you guys. So uh, yeah, let's just go for a quick ride. You can hear the pipes as I'm using them. So 
yeah, these, these pipes are great. These freedom pipes with the DK custom turn or with the uh, DK custom inserts. I have great back pressure. They sound amazing. Um, they're tuned right now with the uh, Vanson Hines FP3. Um, they're when I called uh, Vanson Hines, they told me to use the uh, the staggered. Um, short shots uh, map so I did that but since they're nothing really like the staggers and now they're basically baffless I'll probably end up doing an auto tune on it that might give me a, a little better sound maybe it'll take out a little bit of the decibel popping which I don't have a, a bunch of anyway, so that's all right. And then um, it might give me a little bit more performance out of it. So what do I think about the bike so far? Uh, first off, her name is Betty. So in future videos, when you hear me talking about Betty, it's my Harley. Um, why did I name it Betty? Um, I don't know. It, when I was a kid and I was skateboarding a bunch with friends, there were girl skateboarders and we, they were called Bettys. Um, to me, you know, they were always cool, a little rebellious, and a hell of a lot of fun to be around. And that's just what I signify with my bike. It looks cool. It's got that rebellious sound. It makes me feel awesome with those thick tires. You know, my, my feet are all pushed out. I'm just riding. You know, I'm, I'm living the American life, just riding. I don't know. I feel like a badass. You know, I, I feel like a sons of anarchy, just ready to get out there and cause some hell. And that's just, her name's Betty. So, what do I think about Betty? Everything I just talked about. Uh, I love it. You know, I, she makes you feel like a badass. She sounds wicked. She's got a lot of power. This nearly uh, 17 or 1800 CC, whatever the 103 turns out to be. I'm not good at math, so you figure it out. I forgot to talk about with this uh, speedometer. I have a, a gear gauge, a gear counter, and my last uh, digital speedometer from Harley for the 1200. The the gear the gear gauge was a little bigger than what this is, but I can still see it. I don't know how well you can see it, but this number three right here, that's my gear. That's my current gear. So when I shift up in the four, you know it. it <laughs> freaking road so bumpy <laughs> that shifted up to four so so I, at least I know where it's at and I know where to look but I can count gears just as well as the luck person but it's also convenient just to have an actual gauge there now, I've never been on this road so I don't know where the hell I'm at <laughs> so I'm just like I said, I'm just rolling with it. I'm having a good time on the bike, just cruising. This uh, Fat Bob is a big upgrade from my Sportster, not only in the CCs, but also the comfort. Uh, with my 1200 that I had, my butt would be kind of hurting right now with all the bumps. But, you know, I'm not moving up and down because it's bumpy. Even in a car, you're going to be going up and down. But I'm not feeling it. Even with the stock seat, when I had my Sportster, and I'm not digging on the Sportsters, but when I had my Sportster, the first thing I had to do was change out that seat because it hurt my tailbone. You know, it was like sitting on cardboard with a little bit of foam on top of it. This seat is as comfortable as that Mustang seat that I bought for my Sportster. It's got a lot of cone or foam there. I've ridden, you know, a couple of hours 
you know, in other area and other rides, and I was just fine. I was ready for some more riding. It didn't bother me one bit. So, you know, I, I can't talk about all the Dyna lineup with the uh, with the seats, but the stock seats on this Fat Bob or Betty has just been awesome. No complaints at all. I tell you what, this is a good day for a ride too. It's probably like 75 degrees out right now. The, the air is real cool, but not enough to where it's fogging up my visor for my helmet. It's great. the curvy road. Kind of fun. Just trying to watch out for all the gravel that I don't know about. I don't know the road. I'm trying to be a little cautious about it. Anyway, uh, gravel, time to turn around. <laughs> oh. That's the uh, downsides of driving on a road you don't know. I did not know there was gravel there. It's a pretty area though. I gotta say that. I wouldn't mind living out here. So, uh, do I regret buying the Fat Bob so far? I mean, sure, I've only got 350 miles on it, but I can give you a big fat hell no. I don't regret it. Sure, it's a little more expensive than my Forster was, but they gave me a good deal on it. Even out my loans, so I was basically starting from scratch. But it is definitely worth it. You know, for quite a while I was toying around with the idea of the street bob. I test rode one a couple of times. And I liked it. I, I like the idea of the bobber style, you know, your hands up, you know, your your arms up and, and all that. But these drag bars are a lot more comfortable than I, than I thought they would be. I really don't have any major plans on changing out these bars anytime soon. You know, I'm not, you know, six foot tall or anything anyway, so, you know, these are... I'm, my arms are a little bit of a down, a down angle, maybe uh, 15 degrees or something, maybe 10 degrees. It, it's not much. I would like them to be more up. This is even with my shoulder. And this is where my bars are, which is right where my Forster was. So I'm used to that area or that line, but I love letting off the throttle and hearing this engine braking. These pipes are awesome. I tried to 
just take a gamble on them. Because I, I ran Vance and Hines on my last set of pipes. And then um, when I got this bike, I decided to get some Vance and Hines slip-ons again. And they just didn't seem as loud as as my last bike, and I think it was because it was a two into one and a two instead of just a two into two. And then so I was like, you know, I, I want something different. Everybody's got Vance and Hines, and they're a, a great company, and there's a reason why that everybody's got them. But I did, a, I read a bunch of reviews on his Freedom Performance, and from what I learned, you know, I don't know how how true this is, but from what I learned, the, one of the people from Vance and Hines split off and created the Freedom Performance brand. So you're taking a lot of that technology with you anyway, and learning experience. And with the original Freedom Baffles, I didn't like it at all. It's too high pitched. You know, I lost a hell of a lot of back pressure, uh, a lot of torque. Um, but man, once I put those DK Customs in there, these are the best pipes. They, they look amazing. They sound good. You know, this is as loud as my bike is going to get. They're basically straight pipes. So, you know, I, I like it, you know, enough to not mess with the, the exhaust anymore. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I know I'm not the best editor in the world. I just use the the, win, the Windows 10, uh, what's that thing called? Video editor or the, whatever the built-in Windows 10 video thing is. I mean, that, that's all that I use. These are pretty raw. You know, I I know I tried some of the more expensive software uh, demos, and I don't know. I'm a pretty technical guy. I do IT stuff for a living, networking and whatnot. But I just couldn't figure out the video editor, the the nice ones. So this is just what I do, and you know, I see some of these videos where there's all this music, and they fast forward through it, and. They sound amazing, and you can tell that they brightened up the picture and made everything a little more greener with the, for the grass and stuff. And you know, hey, I just said throwing it out there. I appreciate you guys watching. You know, sometimes I don't have a whole lot to talk about. I just want to get out and ride, and you know, this is the view that I have while riding my motorcycle or Betty or riding on Betty. So, I probably won't make this one much longer. Yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy my ride. So, uh, I appreciate, like I said, you know, props out to everybody out there who's making vlogs. You know, I appreciate you guys. I love watching your guys' videos. You know, I, I dig that you watch mine. I have almost 60 subscribers now or something like that. You know, that's super cool. You know, I, I think it's neat that someone wants to, watch, wants to watch me ride my bike. So, you know, ride on for that. So, you guys stay safe. Do what you do. Enjoy your life and all that jazz. So, uh, peace out, man.